new videos every day. Naturopathic predates pretty much anything. It's been around since Hippocrates, really, uh, probably even before that. But there are several guiding principles that uh, I'm going to go over, and we're going to see how that compares. I'm not a naturopathic physician. However, a lot of what a nutritionist uh, works with comes from naturopathic ideas. The first concept of naturopathic medicine is the concept of first do no harm. And that just means with any therapy that you give to a patient or when you're working with a patient, that is not going to be destructive to them. Now, several examples of where this falls down in our current conventional medicine are with medications. For instance, any drug has side effects and one could argue that those side effects are harmful to the body so you know you can go back and forth uh, some would argue that the benefits outweigh the negatives on any one particular medication and in, in many cases that is true however there are some uh, where I, i'm not so sure and uh, we'll delve into this a little further uh, but again, the first one is first, do no harm. The next one is the healing power of nature. The truth is your body heals itself. Now, in certain situations, medicine can make a person more comfortable, which then will allow their body to heal itself. When a person has pain and they are in pain management they're taking drugs in order to numb out the pain those drugs are not actually healing the pain they're making the body not be able to feel it or sense it another example of this is proton pump inhibitors what that is prilosec things like that that stop acid production or prohibit acid production in the stomach they're not actually addressing what is making the body overproduce acid. They're just stopping the body from doing it. Another example of this is antidepressants or antipsychotics. Uh, the most popular argument for this is a chemical imbalance. The question I have for you is, what caused that chemical imbalance? Could it be that there's some nutritional factor the person doesn't have which is making this chemical imba imbalance happen? Or even more interesting than that is what if the person is not exercising? They're sitting down and they're not producing the endorphins necessary to, you know, make the chemical happen right. You would not want to take Prozac if it's a lack of exercise. That's not going to fix the problem. Only exercise would in that case. So remember, natural things have the ability to handle what's naturally broken. The next one goes along with what I was just saying, which is discover and treat the cause, not just the effect. So somebody has a disease or a symptom of some sort that has come about through time. You don't want to just treat the symptom. For instance, you know, you're driving in the car and the oil light comes on. You wouldn't put tape over the oil light because it's an inconvenience. No, you'd figure out why the car's leaking oil. So the same thing is true in the body. If you have diabetes or, you know, some symptom of blood sugar imbalance, you want to find out why that's the case. Are you eating a food style that doesn't allow your blood sugar to be balanced throughout the day, making insulin overproduce and then your cells get used to that so then they won't function correctly? Unfortunately, that's what gets a person to diabetes. There's one research study that showed that if you have one Coke a day, uh, you have an 85% chance of getting diabetes. How are those for odds? You got an 85% chance of getting diabetes if you drink a Coke a day. So again, treat the cause, not the effect.
The next one is very interesting to me, and in, in any alternative medicine this is true, and that is treat the whole person. Uh, when you go into a medical doctor, a lot of times you're going because you've got a specific symptom that's presenting itself, cold, flu, whatever it is, it means that prevention has failed. You didn't do the things necessary to stop that from affecting your body. And in treating the whole person, what you would do is look at what lifestyle led to having this issue. If you're sick, you know, year-round, obviously prevention has failed. You would need to look at lifestyle changes, exercise patterns, diet, nutritional factors, all of these things that go into creating whatever health issue a person has. So when going to conventional medicine and just taking a specific drug for a specific problem that's presenting it right there, you're not treating the whole person. You're working on a specific symptom, which is part of a bigger picture. So it's very important to treat the whole person. Now the next one uh, is very true. The original word for doctor, docere, from Greek, means teacher, educator. So a naturopathic physician is someone who teaches or imparts information and, and lets the person be responsible for their own health care. Uh, in medicine, unfortunately, a lot of times it's become easier uh, for somebody to just go into a doctor's office. The doctor writes down a particular diagnosis, hands it to them in a form of surgery or drugs. They take that. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't take the whole person into account, and it also does not educate the person into what led them to the point that they're at. When you go to the doctor and you get diagnosed with diabetes, hopefully they give you a diet that you need to follow to make it so it doesn't get worse. But it would be nice if they gave you that information to help prevent it as well. So again, you want to make sure to learn and take responsibility for your own health. Because by taking responsibility for your own health, you can be that much healthier. And unfortunately, by letting it just be diagnosis, take this drug, you know, you're not really taking responsibility for your own health care. Uh, you're letting the doctor do that, which unfortunately you're getting drugs or medicine, which we talked about at the beginning, uh, isn't what handles your body or isn't what fixes your body. It can prevent it from doing a specific thing, but it's not going to it long term. And the last and my favorite is prevention is the best cure. Focus on wellness or something that helps create health, then you get that much more ability to prevent yourself from being sick. Thank you for watching this video. Go to my website www.nutritionaustin.com. Also, Please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing more videos, so enjoy. Watch Nutrition by Natalie. Watch all the mind control videos. we got a lot coming for you folks, so tune in and check it out.